you find it hard to sit still? Do you find it hard to sit still? Um, I'll tell you what it is, I'm, um, <laughs> I'm excited most of the time. I'm thinking about the fight on Saturday and um, things like that, you know. You don't get it much. Mm. Clever boxing, Brady, works people out. And he's only 20. World champion. No problem. Definitely. Definitely. If he's handled right and he's managed right, it shouldn't be a problem. Nope. Sure? Yeah. Sure. Believe me, you would. <laughs> what makes you say that? What makes you say that? Hey? What makes you say that? What makes me say that? It's just not of um, a sort of question I'd, I'd um, sort of take on board, if you know what I mean. This is a Superman. Forget me, he's a Superman. So that should have a I'm a no nonsense heavyweight. I'm quite fast, I've got good movement, um, I've got power. And I don't mess around. I like to fight the best out there. I'm just going to bring something new to the heavyweight division. When did you identify his potential? In his first amateur fight. You know, we're, like we took him down sparring, we're, as I say, with uh, at Uddersfield and all that. But that's just sparring. You know, boxing and sparring is two totally different things. You know, you can look world class in the gym, and when you get in the ring for real, I've seen a lot of fighters not the same person. <laughs> You know, in his case, Tyson, he fought a big, strong lad and he just stopped him in the first round with ease, you know. And he enjoyed doing it. He was laughing going to the ring. I'd never seen that with a, with a kid, you know, because in the first amateur fight, they're all full of nerves. He didn't show anything like that. No emotion, no nerves, nothing. This is my brother. The fun... Yeah, the funder of all this. I'd rather you not, you know. <laughs> Stephen up. <laughs> Who's a better fighter? You or him? Him. Oh, him, he's a boss. Him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, think, 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 it's a lot easier for me than it was for me dad because when my dad was boxing, he had to go out, earn his living, provide his family, pay his bills and then box. So some days he'd be going out all day, earning money and whatever, and then um Coming back at night and boxing in the night time, stopping off at the McDonald's, getting his tea. When he first turned pro, and I'll tell you now, I put my house in it, my son sort of knocked Klitschko Spark out. I've got the videos there. You know, it was slow, easy to it, no movement, nothing. Yeah. You know, and this kid here, he shows more than that. Even at this stage of the game, he shows movement, he shows class, speed of hand, good footwork. Well, it's them heavyweights, they can't show it at an early stage. And Klitschko, when I was watching him, was a man, what, 24, 25? They were seasoned. This kid's a baby and he performs better than them. When you see the top, the top, the top guys in the world game at the moment, the Klitschkos, you, you see them fight on the telly, you see them fight every now and again. What do you think when you see them? What passes through your head? To be honest, I think um, ability-wise, I'm five times better than anyone in the world at the moment. Anybody, the clutch goes anyone, they're big as me, but they're not as fast, they've got no movement, they're like wood, if you know what I mean, robotic, as it said. And um, if I could do the distance, the 12 threes, no problem, I'd be able to beat them now. It seems to me anybody like out the top four or five won't box him. You know, and obviously we don't want the top four because he's just ridiculous in his second fight, you know. No matter how good the kid is, you've got to give him a chance to uh, get used to the full job, haven't you? Who would you want to fight in, in an ideal world? What would be your... Uh, fight anybody, to be honest. I, I said to Mick, I said, anyone you, anyone you fancy. I said, anyone who will fight, get them. Anybody, I'm not bothered who it is. Because I know I'm the best in Britain. As long as it's not David A or Matt Skelter or anyone like that, the top three or four, then I'm not bothered about any any else. John McDermott, Danny Williams, any one of them. When I said he was temperamental, you can see it coming out of him now, can't you? Because he's worrying about, is he going to be fighting on the night or not? And he shouldn't be doing that, should he? You know, his main ambition is to train and fight, not worry about whether he's going to be boxing or not. And this is what you get. It's Britain again, isn't it? <laughs> they're better than getting, getting a bouncer job at Mothercare, aren't they, most of them, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. How are we uh, going, eh? <laughs> <laughs> See you later, John.
You're not coming back to I want you back to the house. Did it? No, I want, I want you there. Oh, no, okay. If you're stuck for space, what this is wrong. Right. Let me tell you, my friend, see this lad driving this car? He'd be the best thing which come out of these shores for a lot of years. We've got to slow down because that other car's done one, haven't we? Does your weight fluctuate, uh, Tyson? To be honest, I'm that type of person. Do you know if I eat uh, two bars of chocolate and a cream cake, I'll put on a stone? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, and my favourite thing is to eat, so I'm in trouble, to be honest. We made it! Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Getch, Chucks. Getch. You haven't tidied this cane, have you? And these needles are missing. Two, four, six, actually. This, this thing gets in the way of it. Hey, Dad, there's no, no coffee, so you'll have to have tea. Yeah, me Dad will have to have tea. Me and Tyson, top. There he is. There he is, there's the man himself in question. <laughs> you could have built the ceilings a bit higher in here, couldn't you? There was all small <laughs> though. <laughs> I didn't expect them to be seven foot. Steve, yours is the one with sugar in it. You have sugar on you. Know that one there. That one? Nope, nope, nope. That one yet. That's one, mate. Cheers. What age did you have your last prize fight? What age I was 30. Yeah. Oh, no, a prize fight? Yeah. Oh, I had one about four years ago. Oh, as recent as that? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I've had about six in the last five years, something like that. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just in the blood, what can you do? Why did you carry on till wet? I'll fight anybody, if anybody challenges me, I'll fight. I'm not going to challenge you. No, but that, that's what it is. A lot of people, they challenge you and let you, I'll fight. You know, if, I'll do that from 60. You know, if they say to me, I want to fight you, let's get outside then. You know, it's simple as that. That's what, that's, that's the makeup I am. You know, and when I'm on a Zimmer frame, I like to fight the lads. <laughs> Simple as that. You know, in a different life, if things have worked out differently for you, could you see yourself doing it? No, never. I don't like getting punches in the face with gloves on, never mind without. So, um, it's just a totally different kind of thing. It's like a bit of a blood sport, isn't it? Fighting with no gloves on, to be honest. Whatever he does with his boxing, like I say, if some for unknown forsaken reason he don't get there, you know, so what? He's had a go, he's tried, and he's always got to know me with us. You know, and that's the main thing, isn't it? What more can you ask for in life? Whatever they do, I'm proud now. And I'm, make sure you love this. And he's only had one <laughs> fight. Whatever he does can't make me any prouder. You know what I'm saying? If he wins titles, it's a bonus for me. But if he doesn't, I'm quite happy as we are. And not a lot of people can say that, can they? And I am. I'm the happiest man in the world. Cups with Shane. That's uh, it's a special one that because it's the last of the chrome bumpers. They, they turned them. At be the next one to that is um, it's rubber bumpered one, okay. and these are like very rare because they've got the chrome bumpers on, and um, that's about it really. That's, I don't know much about it to be honest, but um, it collects old caravans as well. Would you believe he's got the oldest living caravan in the world? Yeah, these are these are a vintage classic caravan, 1934. It's the oldest living caravan in the world. Why do you think it's important then that, that you keep these things and restore them and keep and you know what's what is well, it? Well, it's it's a it's a part of his life, which is only 20 ah. years old. But when he gets older, you know he knows his heritage. A lot of people don't know their heritage today for what yeah. they are. Yeah. You know, ah. and they're the symbols of what you are. I oh, hear you are. You won't fit in here. Yeah. That'd be dumb. <laughs> Look at the roof, what, them's hand paintings, them. They're hand paintings, them. They're the hand room. carved. The grapes all hand carved stuff. grapes, look. The travellers ain't like a community, like, stick together, everyone does their own type of thing, you know. But a lot of people think that travellers means that someone who travels around in a caravan and who speaks fast and has loads of dogs and stuff, like you see on Snatch. <laughs> that just is not what it is. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's true, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You think of a gypsy, you think, oh, well, 
ignorant Dirty dog, people. hay horses, that type of thing you think of, don't you? But um, to be honest, it's n nothing like that. As you grow in fame and notoriety and your career goes from strength to strength, it's not something you're going to hide, is it? It's not something No. But a lot of people, like... Um, it would be easier for you to do that, perhaps. i tell you what it is. It would. Oh, the past, earlier. say, four or five years, I've been... I don't want anyone to know, like, travellers, because he gives you a bad name. Do you know if people think you're a traveller, like, they tend not to like you or yeah. they won't support you or things like that? And to be honest, it's, it's, it's hurtful because I'm just... I'm white. I, if you cut me, I'll bleed. I'm not an alien, am I? Mm. And um, sometimes you get trapped like that, you know? You just get shut out from the world. And uh, it's not very nice, to be honest. So I've been keeping it hush. But to be honest, what you are, you can't hide, can you? A leopard can't change his spots. So I'm not going to try and be something I'm not. I'm going to be proud of what I am. He hails from Manchester and he has got a professional record of one win and no loss with that win coming by way of knockout. He is Hennessy Sports' hottest new signing and he was the ABA Senior Super Heavyweight Champion of 2008. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome heavyweight sensation Tyson Fury. That's the main answer. You're mean tonight, you I look mean. I'm a knockouter. 21 wins, 21 by the way of uh, knockout. I can, if I win, just one guy goes with me over the rounds. So when I win, I, I knock him out. Knockout win now goes looking for another one. Oh, that's a good right hand. Zeller felt that one, really good quality shot. Come on, let's have a bit more. Well, I think Tyson will probably oblige, but he can't afford to get careless. Good That's time. a good quality uppercut, really good right hand from Fury. And he senses that he might be able to end his man here in the first. That's a terrific right uppercut. Big uppercut again. Employs that right hand with great effect. Oh, he's hurt, make no mistake about that. The body shots and the head shots, everything's hurting. He's keeping his defence, he's keeping his composure. Keep it long, tee off. Okay, make sure you do a little bit more around his body, he's gone. Zeller is a strong man and still in there. The man with the big knockout record, 20 knockout wins in his 21 victories against three defeats. Zeller's nose is bleeding now.
Tyson is putting a lot into these. Amzell is suggesting he's not being hurt. Fury's just got to be careful that he doesn't punch himself out. Absolutely. You know, he's got a game, Zeller in front of him. Very game indeed. Oh, that's a good shot. Another shake of the head. Those are big punches from Fury. Zeller takes them all. And here comes some more. There's something a bit Foreman-esque, isn't there, about the way he wings in those hooks and uppercuts? Tell you what, try and get an angle on him when you've got the jab. Step over him. Oh, it's a good left hand, it's all over, I think. No, it's not. No, he's just uh, indicated time out, there's a low blow. Let's have a look again there. There's the low one. Fury just looking for his opportunity, content to jab his way in and then land clubbing body shots like that. That was a big right hand, that one which hammered into the ribcage. himself open to those overhand rights, that's a good shot. Kilt came up a bit there. Now the referee's got to be having a look here, Howard Foster is poised, he's saying to Zeller, you've got to do something, you've got to throw. Bravely, the German is still there and still trying to land. Oh, There's the uppercut, uppercut again, Duke. That hurt, that really hurt. He will have to throw back, the referee will stop this fight, make no mistake, if these punches are not answered. Zeller complaining that was low and it's been stopped. It's been stopped by the referee and he is furious about that. But in the third round, the fight is over. Tyson Fury has won for a second time. And big applause from the crowd for Marcel Zeller, who really made a fight of it. So how did he do? How do you think he did? Your winner, Tyson Fury. He's going to be on a steep learning curve. He says that he wants to go looking for a British title next year, but for now, it's two out of two for the big fella, Tyson Fury. World champion. And you're convinced you're going to be British champion, what, this year even, perhaps? Oh, yeah, this year, without a doubt. It's all up to Mick anyway. But if um, the fighters out there will fight me, then I'm willing. OK. Just got to get a bit fitter, and I'm always learning. Never stop learning. Tyson Fury is the best prospect in world boxing, and he is going to shake up the heavyweight division like it hasn't been shaken up. And we're going to put him in learning fights, great learning fights now, and he, he's going to be a phenomenon in the heavyweight division. I had four weeks to get fit for this fight, and um, just imagine having 20 years of not training right or eating right, and four weeks of eating right and training right, and this is what shape I'm in. Imagine what will be like after three years of eating and training right. My lungs feel a bit sore, overextended. Yeah. Good fight, that wasn't it? Uh, yeah, good fight. Uh, got the jab working. Was hurting him, um, oh, sorry. Hurting him with the jab. And um, started to get my big punches going. And when I got the big guns out, it was too much for him. So um, I reckon I could have done him in uh, round two, I think. But um, he had a bit to do with the referee. And I said it was a low blow, but it was a really good body shot. So. Tyson Fury, a world champion? Never. European champion, maybe, I don't know, or Commonwealth champion, what title you have in, 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 in England, I don't know, but never a world champion. Nice decision by the referee. It's a sport, not a killing game, and I think he was taking too much punishment, and it's not going to do very good for his brains. But um, what a good learning fight. Great, well done, man. Thank you for uh, throwing me out for this fight, sparring. Yeah, good advice. I didn't spar with well, did you? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> He'd done the spine with somebody else. <laughs>
up with that, happy with that. Yeah. Well, okay, yeah, brilliant performance. How do you think you did? I thought you were good. Yeah. I mean, the guy didn't come up lie down, did he? Had a great defence. Tried to win back. Um, Tyson picked him apart in the end. You know, so too strong for him, so well off it. What do you think, Paul? Oh, marvellous, mate. 20 years old. 20. Yeah, you know, and what can you do? He showed a lot of class. Showed everything. You know, just needs experience, that's all. Is it? Got to shake his hand and nobody gets his gloves off. Yeah. What a prospect. Hey. This kid will take anybody on. Anybody. Within reason. You know, you don't, you don't have to have him dug up out of the graveyard for this lad. This lad is a real deal, this kid. If, if I do do really well, like get to the top, which I've, I know I am gonna, it's no ifs. Unified heavyweight champion of the world, Tyson Fury. I'm not the type of person to stay there for like 15, 20 years to get all my brains knocked out. I want to sort of like swoop in, stay there, defend a couple of times and get out of the business. It's, I don't think heavyweight boxing is known to take unnecessary punches, is there? Be ruthless, be efficient and then get out. And get out, yeah. Get your head screwed on there, haven't you? Yeah. That's from your dad as well, isn't it? That's from my dad, yeah. <laughs>